Hi and welcome back to my studio. I've spent the most wonderful week in the forest and um, you've seen the footage. It's been absolutely glorious with all the light and leaves and, and all the needs of course. I'm here today with you to share some of the things that I've been working on and um, yeah super excited so the very first thing that I will show you is the finished Omela dress I showed it uh, last time in the previous episode but it wasn't finished and I wasn't sure uh, how it's gonna look in the end so now it is finished and um, it is a long dress I decided to use all the yarn that I have and uh, it is super super long with a nice hem trimming and um, balloon sleeves with the same beautiful decorative color work and um, of course this beautiful yoke the name Omela came to me uh, actually when I was already writing up the pattern and um, I looked at the colors and, and the pictures that I took and I realized that if I have chosen the red color for the contrasting color here it would have been like 100% Christmassy it would be a perfect sweater to sit under the Christmas tree and like I don't know have um, glue wine and eat gingerbread it would be perfect so omela in uh, ukrainian russian and then i think in many slavic languages means mistletoe so yeah everything fell into places and it feels absolutely magical to have this one uh, ready for christmas and yeah we are going to get a christmas tree in about a week or so so it's gonna be really nice the yarn I use is fingering weight held together with uh, the silk kid mohair uh, kid silk uh, silk mohair <laughs> and um, it creates this super super soft and light fabric and gives it actually something like a DK or sport weight gauge so you can easily use another yarns or another yarn combination to probably save money on um, silk mohair which can be quite pricey although I did use um, very budget friendly uh, drops uh, silk mohair um, and I can't say that it's uh, worse than the more expensive uh, options available so I think there are ways to find a, a budget option um, options for any budgets in this one I think it will look nice in Newton and uh, no. yeah maybe with one with a heavier uh, base yarn and one strand of silk mohair it is going to have that same um, hello yeah so you've seen it in the in the nature in the light it's it's really deliciously warm and soft and i enjoyed wearing it a lot and the length is also good for when you are in the forest and without a jacket really nice so this one is ready and uh, we started testing it uh, but because the test falls on the pre Christmasy weeks and uh, everyone is knitting their gifts I assume uh, it will take a little bit longer I extended the deadline till January so probably mid January we will have this out yeah and on that note I will show you something that you can knit for a Christmas present first for those of you who don't know this is my between petals pullover it is a beautiful blouse with balloon sleeves and like really nice 
um, contrasting color trimmings and of course this floral color work I absolutely love it and yeah I wore it to many many occasions and was recognized just by the by this color so I was going through my stash and I found the yarn leftovers from this project and I was like hmm nothing goes to waste here and I wanted to make socks of course you've already seen some of it in the footage from the forest and um, I actually thought that maybe I can knit them work on them while I'm in the forest and I had like shit little bit uh, like progress videos and that would be super nice but then in the middle of the week I realized that it would be like too much work and it put like extra extra pressure on myself so I just I took it uh, slowly I decided not to rush and um, I finished um, the heels when I was uh, there and then I finished the rest of the sock when I came back home so now I have it ready blocked and this is how that looks so yeah it is an ankle length sock so it's not super super high up i like it the way that you wear your shoes and you wear your stockings or whatever you wear I wear stockings and then there is this little bit that sticks out of your shoe and it's just super super cute I think and um, so this is my perfect length otherwise if it goes higher than my my yeah my feet don't look really skinny so my legs so this is the per perfect length for me but it's easier to extend the length of the of the of the leg here, just adding more stock in a stitch rows after the color work. So this that can be easily adjusted to your taste. But this is the perfect taste, uh, the perfect size and shape for me. And um, the heel is um, worked with German shirt rows, and those are also my favorite way of working socks because this shape fits me best. It is more difficult with um, when you have this uh, heel flap. It is more difficult to customize it to fit my well small but wide and irregular feet. So I find that this one fits most people. It fits like their tastes and matters of comfortability and what people like, but it does fit everyone so I chose this one and then of course I have this really nice contrasting toe and uh, yeah so the sock is ready and I'm going to call for testers um, hopefully today on patreon and then the following day uh, publicly so there will be a new fast test knit coming and then hopefully before Christmas like way before Christmas we will have this out so you will have about a week or so to finish it and I finished mine if I needed like it is possible to do them in two days if you need um, well non-stop <laughs> Well, if you need a few hours a day, I mean, I was on vacation, so for me it was like an hour or so a day. And I did them, I think, in like, I don't know, four days or so. So basically it is a very fast, very simple project and um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, when I started them, I, I wanted for the pattern to go um vertically so not like now horizontally but in the other, the other way around like on the yoke but um oh, this is this part this section and um i realized that for some reason because we don't have increases here it's just uh flat so if you start well probably there are ways to make it nice 
but it just didn't work in this case it just didn't work to place it that way so i put it the other way around and um it, i think it works beautifully and uh, i absolutely love love them they are simple yet they are so so cute So this is done and then I was so excited with all the sock story that as soon as I got back from um, my vacation I cast on another sock design and uh, that one was inspired by this one. This is my uh, mama bear pullover and we are already halfway the test and it just looks absolutely gorgeous i saw one of the finished projects already with um made with some kind of i don't remember what kind of yarn but it was this off-white yarn that hold the texture a little bit better than cashmere because cashmere after blocking it just it smooths smooths it out a little bit so it lost a bit of the stitch definitions that it, definition that it had before but um, yeah that one looked absolutely gorgeous and now I'm dreaming of something in the of white I don't know if it's gonna suit me but yeah uh, something warm neutral um, undyed yeah this is something that I'm I have on my mind and then of course I was trying to use every single bit of this beautiful cashmere so I made a rather longer uh, sweater than I usually wear and uh, of course there is nothing left and uh, also you don't want to use cashmere probably for your socks they would probably be absolutely delicious but I'm skeptical how well they're gonna wear so I decided to go for a classic sock yarn <laughs> I have some sock yarn that um, Sylvia from Wolmetferve this is a local Dutch dyer she gave me a few skeins of her yarn and this one was sock yarn that I picked it is this beautiful pink um, yeah all, all shades of pink uh, it's called terracotta so the um, the base is called basic so sock hem it is um, a super wash wool with biodegradable nylon and a little bit of hemp which uh, I actually think should wear really well in socks um, so this is what I have right now I I use this pattern mimicking what I have on the yoke of the blower and then the rest will be worked in this beautiful beautiful seat stitch and then I haven't decided what to do with the toe maybe there will be something cute on the toe as well but for now uh, this is how it looks is the same german shirt row heel and i think it is beautiful and also have a second one so i'm working two at the time or at least like taking turns on each of them uh, that is my that is my way to have um pieces accessories of the same size because otherwise it's very difficult for me to maintain the same gauge i don't know for some reason that never worked for me and it doesn't so i have to work simultaneously either on both of them they come from one skein and i just use like two sides of, of one two strands of two ends uh, from one skein and um, uh, when i when I work the foot, I will just put them on one 
on one circular needle and have them on the magic loop. So this is how I usually knit socks and um, or mittens or anything that I need two of. And uh, yeah, so I have left to do the foot and toes and figure out what what it's gonna look in the end. Um, with this, I think I have you up to date with what's going on here. Uh, it's been a wonderful week, uh, my birthday week, and it's been really nice to have a break. I took the time to write the goals for the next year, and I'm really, really excited about some of them. And I can't wait to start working on some of the new things that came to me. Um, I'm really excited to see how the next year will be and birthday is always sort of a new year and has this January kind of feeling when when you have the energy and you want to do everything at the same time. I just hope it won't disappear. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for being here and I talk to you very soon. Bye.